hi guys welcome back to the channel i hope you guys are all having a good day as always now today we are actually starting another story mode game and this one is actually super interesting i've seen a lot of people tell me on twitter instagram a bunch of people in the comments as well to check this game out it's called before your eyes and you know what's interesting about this game is that every time you blink every no hold on every time i blink the game changes right i think i i don't i don't know we're about to find out so like let's say i blink right now right boom game changed blink again boom game changed blink boom game changed boom game changed boom 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 also uh tomorrow night i am doing a movie night with you guys and uh i know it's weird i've never done one of these things but i want to try it out it's gonna be in my discord yes i do have a discord if you don't know discord.gg slash furious fade that's the discord so if you want to come through you want to watch a movie with me yeah yeah me you get to watch a movie with me bro who doesn't want to do that? Nobody. I'll probably talk to you guys in the Discord, but eh, I don't know if I will. I've tried it before and it just gets too crazy. Yeah, I just go crazy, go stupid in the voice chat. And it, it gets annoying when you have like multiple, like hundreds of people trying to talk to you at once. It's pretty annoying. So I'll be doing a movie night. I don't know if I'll be talking, but I'll be watching the movie with y'all. And then maybe we might talk after. I don't know. We might even talk between the movie. Who knows? I don't know. It's a movie night tonight though. Pull up. If you want to. Alright, let's go ahead and get into it. Um what the hell's going on? This is a game about blinking. See, every time you blink, the game will notice. See how this works? Try blinking on the white symbol. Uh, I'm blinking. Hello? Nothing is happening. Oh my Literally nothing is happening. This is a scam. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Oh, so you had to point your mouse down. I'm so stupid. Okay. When you see a metron... What? Whoa. What the hell? I just blinked. Keep blinking. Whoa. This is trippy. Whoa. Whoa, this, guys, I'm so tripped out. What is going on? I, I just keep blinking. Don't blink, Fade. Guys, I don't even know what's going on anymore. I'm so confused. I am beyond confused as to what is happening. Where am I? It's mine. Where are my subtitles? Well, hello there, stranger. Oh. Ooh. Hi. You're a real bright and shiny one, aren't you? Yeah. I ask you for your name, but sadly you got no mouth to speak with, or uh -huh. hands to shake with, or nose to look down with. What you talking about? We're gonna have to find another way. I got a nose right here. See, what you'll find is, even though you're no longer in your body, your body's still inside of you. Huh? What? Bo, makes any sense? This game is. Hold on. First of all, this game is already trippy. Now you're making it even more trippy. Second of all, where are my subtitles? So, if you understand what I'm saying, um, blink over my hand here. Okay, boom. Ooh, well, look at that. You're a blinking genius. There goes my <laughs> subtitles. Uh, I knew you were special. Uh, okay. See all them poor souls down there, lost in the waves? Right. I didn't choose any of them. I chose you. Okay. See, I, I just sometimes get a sort of a, a hunch better word no is that a dictionary mm, better word than that. can i borrow that ah. dictionary i need a that premonition when a soul's worth pulling up a premonition hold on right that's how you say it premonition now you see that tower out there yeah the big scary one uh-huh that's where i'm taking you to see the gatekeeper who oh! to be judged uh -huh. i'm gonna present your case Tell her the whole story of your entire life from prow to stir. Right. Now, if she's impressed, I get paid the big coin, and you get yourself a spot in her magnificent city. Okay. If she ain't, well, I eat seagull for dinner again, and uh, you. Right. Well. 
<laughs> no, 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 hold on, what? Worry about that. <laughs> no, 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 let's worry I'm about that. Best orator you'll find on these sickly waters. Class A storyteller, believe you me. Okay. Yo, y'all need to oh, shut, shut up. up. Yeah, let them know. Birds. You had your chances. You let them know. It was my fault you were no good. Lay about. <laughs> I'm satisfied. <laughs> he just looks like. Clock <laughs> <laughs> I got some work. <laughs> Yo, I, I like this dude. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Yo, that's a crazy. Hey, that's why you. <laughs> that's why you don't do crack. <laughs> Sorry, you had to hear that. No, nah, you good? You good, my boy? I didn't see nothing. <laughs> Yo, that's why you don't do crack. Yo, so hold sure. on. Maybe I'm not the most verbose storyteller out there, but I know how to spin a yarn <laughs> if I'm given something to work with. Hold on, let me pause real quick. I need to do what he does. I need to have a dictionary at all times <laughs> so I can just look up words and start flaming people. Did you see what my man did? Dude pulled up his dictionary. <laughs> you unsatisfactory clock watchers. <laughs> and that's where you come in. Okay, wait. Your life. You're going to show it to me. Uh huh. I want to see exactly what made you so absolutely great. Right. So, um, just think back to the very beginning. The first thing that you can remember. The first thing that I can I'm remember. I'm gonna send you there. Okay. But understand, no matter how much you like it, you're not gonna be able to stay. All right. Got it. Every time you blink, you're going to jump forward Ooh. in time. Could be a second, could be five years. Nah, this game is fire. It's just how this thing works. Okay. All right, so try not to Alrighty blink. then. Try not to I blink. I hope he's ready for this. Now, the next time that you blink, I'm going to send you back. Okay. Next time. <laughs> okay. Just try to enjoy it this time. All right, don't blink. Don't blink, Fade. Try not to blink. Eyes wide open. Look at that sun. Okay. Don't blink, guys. It's I need a, a blink. Long, beautiful day ahead of <laughs> I need a blink. Stop. Stop out of it. Why are you smiling like that? I, you know, I blinked on accident. Mm -hmm. Wait, did we did we just travel like 20 years? How how did she know I was smiling? Don't blink. Mm -hmm. Who is this? Why are you built like that? Look like you got a Dorito head. Okay, where are we? Hey. Let's go get you some seashells. What do you say? Let's go, baby. Damn, you built like a Fall Guys character, low key. You see that big spiky plant over there? I just blinked on accident. Right here? That's called Nagabe. I blinked. No. The day really slipped away, didn't it? Damn it, I missed a day because I blinked. Oh, well, days have a tendency to do that, I guess. Okay, I blinked again. Okay, go ahead, kid. <laughs> Look at that. There's your little hand. Wait, so now I'm like a little we have baby. To make him do this every I blinked again. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not, I'm trying not to blink, man. I'm not blinking. I ain't blinking. Oh, you want to play along with mommy, don't you? So, I didn't even blink. What? That's bullshit. Okay, so we're like a little kid growing up. Sounds good, honey. Whoa, you see how we get to get the look around and render everything in? Well, sounds pretty perfect to me. Hold on, I'm a blink. What do I like about it? I like the music. I'd even blink, so it's automatically doing it for me. Look at his little What do you think he's thinking about? Oh. Where am I? I don't know. Probably solving the problems of the universe. Hey. Where y'all at? Well, how come I can't see you? Why do you even blink? Okay, no, so it's not derivative. It automatically at least blinks I for you, right? I think it was. Do you think you could tell the other members of the selection committee what I just told you? Right. I'm so confused no, as I'm sorry. I guess I just put a lot of expectation on this call. Okay, I understand. 
Thank you for considering my piece, John. It really means a lot. Um, okay, so I am beyond confused as to what is oh, going on. That's so we're just going to fill the story color. in as we go. Blink. I threw hey, it. Hey, we do not throw things in this house. Sorry, Mom. If you're mad... I, bl I What? It transferred. Open up this book. Okay, what is this? See? That used to be my piano. Okay, so... My dad gave it to me. He loved music. Uh-huh. Fled his home country just to have a chance to pursue it. God, he made me practice so much. I hated it at first. Piano is beautiful. And we're about to switch. Okay, Benny. So we switch. You ready to see something really special? Yeah. I just... Uh-huh, let me see it. Richard. What? That's the cutest thing I've ever seen. What the oh, freak is that? What's wrong with that? We can't keep... Whoa, so just... <laughs> now it's switched? Uh, guys, I'm sorry. Let me pause and kind of get a summary. So basically, we're telling a story slowly, right? As a kid that's growing up with his mom and his dad and this little ugly cat with the missing eye. I think it's supposed to be confusing, but we get more immersed into it as we go throughout the story. I hope. Okay. What am I looking at? Oh, piano. Oh, we gotta play it. There you go. Doesn't that make you feel happy? Yes, mama. Like you just want to jump up and down? Playing the piano? Now, you know what what's crazy? C minor. C minor? What you is that? how to play that one? Very good. Hey. Just one note different. But that one sounds sad, doesn't it? All pianos are meant Amazing to be sad. Amazing what a difference one little change can make on how a person feels. All songs on the piano are meant to be sad. You know what's crazy? The person that created a piano was a depressed person. That's why piano songs are, you know, a little heartwarming and heart touching. Because they're meant to be sad. Sort of like me and your little friend on your piano there. Ah, uh, okay. So she was in grad school studying composition. I never met anyone like her. I just prayed to God I could somehow keep up. Uh huh. I think she liked that I was a professor. Gave me a certain gravitas in her eyes, you know. So we're slowly Which going I up with this story. Very quickly lost. Interesting. I'm really liking this. What's this picture? I got a blink. God, she dragged me to so many places. Oh, story switched. Open up this. Huh. I can actually play the piano, sorta. I just never had the time to practice, but I played it at, at my grandma's house. I used to go to my grandma's house and play it. So here's my here's my chance. Here's my chance to practice. Whoa, hey, I haven't touched a key. Is that? That's my piece. How did you figure out how to play that? Tell me about it, baby. Richard, I know how to play the piano. Are you hearing this? Hey, hold on. I haven't what? seen keys like this He's in a minute. He's playing my piece. He must have figured it out by ear. I mean... What the hell just happened? I was playing the piano. How about how you about to interrupt me like that? Oh, God. I have my interview in five minutes, and I completely forgot to feed him. So we're playing with the cat. I got to blink my eyes to play with the cat. <laughs> That's so... Freaking cool, man. Hold on. Got your whisker. Wait, what is that? Don't worry. I already did. Oh, transitioned. Too late. Excuse me. Of course, sir. It's all organized into folders sitting ready Playing with the cat. The table. Playing they with the cat. They will literally be on your desk when you get in. I don't know what's going on. This is so trippy. When's he coming? I'm flying him out in February, remember? Cat is sleeping. You know, I think he was pretty surprised that I could actually afford to do that. Hey, why not? You're a working woman now. Oh, we draw the cat. This is called a metronome. A metronome. We use it to measure time so we don't get lost in the music. Right. I want you to start using it before Grandpa comes to visit. Okay. Metronome. You know, my father once told me when I was about your age, mm -hmm. the only way to fight against time is to create a work of genius, which might live on after you're gone. Okay. So I asked him, 
What about your children? Thinking, you know, I might be a work of genius just as I was. But he said, yes, I suppose. If you made a I genius. I really don't know what's going on. I haven't seen him in over 10 years. Okay, it's night time now. I wonder what year we're in. We've probably traveled. Oh, we just traveled again. Blink. You really need to stay in time with the metronome, okay? Okay. Okay, so now we gotta play the piano. Subdivide the time. One e and a two e and a three e and a four e and listen, a lady. one e and a two e. And I was trying to play the piano. Why are you bugging there me you like go, that? Buddy. Okay, now keep a firm grip on it, just like that. Oh my! The picture. Saw how I just blink my eyes like that, and we took that picture. Sorry, buddy. Turn around, L, so we can photograph you. Turn around. Hold on. I'm just blink. Really behind right now. Interesting. So we're taking pictures with our little Ernie. blinking sense. So you're saying it's a coincidence that it disappears for weeks and then comes back with a huge belly? <laughs> That's so cool. I'm still not understanding how you let this happen. That's so freaking cool. He keeps coloring the grass blue, the ocean green, and then the sky red. Are you able to pick up the new book? Yeah. Dude, this is actually so cool. Uh-oh. What's going on? Why is it all dark all of a sudden? I know, it seems impossible that you could ever play something so complex, but just take it one day at a time. Wait. Trust me. Mm, no. See, it's not letting me play the keys that I want to play. I'm trying to play the Maple Story, uh, what's it called? Maple Story soundtrack. It goes like. Turn it off! You're really getting there, honey. Next. We just transitioned. I don't have enough. I, they never let me play the piano. Two. Chris said five. Congratulations. We're just taking pictures. I want that box full by the time I come in there. Transitioned. Okay. This Picture. Picture. House. Picture. Fall back, you fool. I'll have your head. I'll feed them to the cat. Transition. Picture. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Come over here. That's us right there. We're Chloe, right? Yes, Mr. Camera Boy. I'm talking oh, to you. Oh, talking to me? What's up, baby? Coming over. Hold on. Give me a second. What's up? You Why are you always out here taking photos? Why not? You know, if you really want to take a photo of something cool, you should take a photo of this. Got it. And there we, we're out. We transitioned. Quiet, everyone. Benny's about to play for us. Benny. Okay, so that's our name, Benny. A. 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 Wow, L. He's unbelievable. Hold on, hold on. You gotta God, get the you gotta get the keys right. See, I told you I can play the Rocky. piano. What's up? <laughs> it's not even me playing it. <laughs> what the hell? The class is world history. My name is Mr. Isaac. How you doing, Mr. Isaac? Class will be broken up in hey, you. Minutes. What's up? Look on your desk. I wrote you something. What did you write me? We are in the same class. What a coincidence. Please keep in mind that while we're in our school, we don't know each other. Do not talk to me ever. This is Love Chloe. Chloe. Don't even I look want at me. each of you to write smack your not shit. Not doodle on the sidelines, not stare off into space. Wait, why does she want to talk to me or act like she knows me? Okay. What's, what's wrong with me? Go on to the next slide. Chloe, tell me, what did the quote say? I got it right here. Um. Those who could not. I definitely know this. Those who cannot remember the past. You were. Are condemned notes, to repeat it. Weren't you, Chloe? Oh yes, of course. Here, here, take my notes. Take my notes. I got you. I got you. Those. So those who do not remember the past repeat the past. No, that's not right. I, condemn. I tried to convince your father not to buy you that thing, but he insisted. 
I uh -huh. suspect he bought it for himself. What is this? Conscious The little guys are pretty cute. That's a whole lot of... Oh, sure. We sit together in history class. I don't know what I'd do without old Benny. Very sweet. Thank you for playing this game with him. Your dad just thank me for hanging out with you? Yeah. That's a very interesting... Probably because I'm a loser. It's called a magnet school. Magnet school? It's about an hour So my boy Benny's a loser? I know the change can be... Scary, we only got one but... friend? So what do you think, Benjamin? You think you could excel in that sort of an environment? We're all grown up. Benjamin. Sorry, he gets very shy. Oh, not to worry. No, actually, are we? If he's as gifted as you say he is, shyness is no problem. And we missed it. So, Batch, a well-tempered clavier. What is this? As you can see, there are some very fast runs in there. And a lot of stuff I've not taught you properly yet. So no uh -huh. pressure. I just want you to try. And we can see if you start enjoying it. Say that. Just like to see you really rise to the occasion. Just this once. I wish I had the option of going to a school like that when I was your age. Uh -huh. I wouldn't be working this boring job or living in this boring town, I'll tell you that. What was that? Was that the piece? Yep. What is going on with you these days? I barely know whose kid you're supposed to be. Same here. Because I'm t beyond confused. Here's that little batch thing. Don't I'll answer see that, this. Ben. You can talk to your friend after you practice. So why does she want us to practice the piano so bad? Something about this piano, right? That's the beautiful thing about a piano, right? You can really mix match just about anything on a keyboard, on this keyboard. And you can play such a beautiful thing. Oh my god. Is she really calling you again? What, is she obsessed with you? Alright, I'm answering it. We don't even know what happened. Anubis, in the presence of my art who you remember is the goddess of truth and justice, and would weigh the deceased soul against a feather, determining whether it was worthy of entering into her land of the dead. Where's Chloe yet? And what if they are deemed unworthy? Well, you can see that ugly fur ball under the hey, scale. Mr. Kid. Oh, Hi. She's got Look at it. And yes, Look at what? That's a she. Desk, another note. The head okay. of a crocodile fur of a lion let's read this note see, and the body tonight after my dad goes to sleep i'm going to sneak out though i would not my, that to her my face. house and go to sleep now, on the beach if you want to get invited see, draw me a picture she is of mr isaac feeling constipated any of the deceased what you're weird pass judgment sort of like i'm gonna draw him anyways though with your weekly <laughs> ew why is he so, so scared looking sure okay i'll call school. you when i'm Okay, so we got we're going on that date with her. Slightly worried about having him change schools just as he started to make friends. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the only reason she keeps coming here is our parents are fighting. But we playing this piano. I don't claim to understand the motives of children. Richard, Benny has a chance here, a real chance to be really good at something. I mean, this is no. And it changed, so they're fighting about me. Huh. Lights out. You need to be rested for tomorrow. Memory consolidates when you're asleep. So if you go to sleep now, you will awaken a master. Trust me. You know what? That's facts. So I'm going to go to bed. Richard, tell your son to turn the lights off. Danny, mom says turn the lights off. Yes, daddy. Hey, yo. Whoa. See, I said yes, daddy, as in yes, my dad. Yo, y'all weird. Sneak out. Try to sleep. Let's sneak out. Wow, didn't think you'd actually pick up. I'm a sticky for a baby. I apologize. I ain't no baby. Okay, I'll hang so up this meet phone. Me out in the Meet me out in the alley. 
So now we're sleeping on the you beach. You know, I'm really glad you're here. There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. Uh huh. Or to get off me. Well, it just fucking transitioned, Probably bro. Probably didn't sleep at all. Out in the cold all night. You're already feeling sick, aren't you? We got caught, huh? It's okay. You still got this. I mean, all the practice had to count for something. Maybe just try and. Hmm. In your own time, Benjamin, we are very excited to hear. Hear what? Piano. So we get to play it? Am I doing good, guys? Am I doing good? Oh, okay, okay. I think that's enough. Yeah. Did I do good? So, Benjamin, uh, why don't we plan on having you come back next year again, once you've had a bit more time to practice, yes? So we got the nod. As you know, Burton isn't the right fit for every student, and I wish you the best of luck on your path, wherever it may take you, okay? All right. Blink out of here. I, I really want to thank you and Shut your up. mother I'm okay, for coming bro. all the way out. Now we're Maybe taking... I pushed you too hard. Maybe I turned into my own father. I don't know. You have to find something to focus on. Definitely not a piano. The world isn't very kind to people who aren't really good at something. And you know what? Hold on. Let me pause on that. world doesn't need to be kind to people who aren't good at something. Because as long as you like it and you enjoy it, eventually you will get better at it, right? Like I said, it's about chasing, chasing passion. There's always got to be passion behind your dream. Apparently, my boy Benny doesn't have passion to play the piano. You can't force that upon somebody. Passion is what will carry you to your dream. Because you can have dreams, right? But you won't get anywhere unless you have the passion for them. And if you have the passion for them, nobody can get in your way. Not even the whole world can get in your way. We want him home from school for a while. Just until this nasty thing clears. Uh-huh. What, hey, I got Al, coronavirus? Taking a quick walk with me down to my office. Yeah, There's yeah. A small clerical thing I need you to look at before I can let you two go. Oh, yes, of course. Boom. Blink. It's a crucial time in his development. He shouldn't be confined to his room. Confined to his room? What the hell is going on? This story is slowly getting depressing. We're growing up. Notice how when you grow up, life starts getting more depressing. This isn't video game time. I want you to figure out something actually productive to do while you're home from school. Bitch, shut up. If I want to play video games, let me play video games. Toys. Okay. Come on, draw that. We're drawing. We're learning. We're doing something productive. Dinner's ready. Dinner's ready. Boom. So we're drawing. What if drawing is my thing? And Mr. Benjamin Brin has been awarded first place. Look at that. Hold on, what is this? Ooh, art school application? You are not here to learn to be painters. Right. You are here to learn to be artists. Everybody can be an artist. Oh, how very wacky. I can be an very artist zany. and my art can look like a three year old. What you. the freak did I just draw? Art is it about what people describe it as. Art is how you describe it, okay? Anything can be art. I want art. you all to take a long look at what Mr. Brin has done here. That's me. You see, he has reached down deep within himself and created a masterpiece. See, look at that. I didn't know how to play, my character didn't know how to play the piano, but I found something else. I found a different passion and that's art. Look at that. See? It's okay. Now I'm an artist, look at this. I know that lots of patients gave me lots of cards and it all probably feels weird and 
alienating and the opposite of what being a starving artist is supposed to feel like. Uh -huh. But if I can teach you one thing, it's that if opportunity knocks, you open the door. Making a living isn't selling out. I wish I had thought of it that way. That's a good perspective to look at it. See, if things don't go the way you're... See, if things don't go the way in your life, if things don't go the way don't you planned them to... You're not selling your soul. Oh, what you talking about selling my soul? If things don't go the way you plan them to, don't worry. <laughs> life will plan plan itself for you, I promise. Sign contract. Look at this, I'm signing a contract now. feeling about you. Okay, so I got I'm an art actually degree. actually making some money with one's art. Lord knows I could never do it. That's my mom, right? Mom, aren't you the one that doubted me? Cheers. Cheers, mom. Ooh, that's okay. Draw that. Draw that. See, look how life turns out. Look how life turns out. Oh my god. I think it is. All places. Look how life turns out, man. Now I'm driving, I'm hey, old. Hey honey. Your work's incredible. Look at that. Call, okay. Okay. I mean it. I'm just calling to inform you that I went to the doctor today. Uh huh. And well, I'm I'm gonna be a little sick for a while, but really I I don't want you worrying about it at all. Answer. Oh Benny, I told you not to pick up. There's nothing you can do for me right now. Who is that? But that's enough from me. Now. You'll hear from the person who I believe. Who was that? That's my. Go on, B. Say something. He said, "Go on, boy. Say something." What's wrong? Why? Can't talk, bro. I wish I could. Who is this? Hey, honey. Guess who's calling again? Look. Hey. This is Benny. so confusing. Hey, B. Just calling to tell you. It's my dad. I think I'm still in the house. My mom passed away. She's everywhere here, son. I can't. Take whatever you want. With your mother gone, I'm hoping to finally live without all the clutter. <laughs> ah, I'm just so glad you got to speak to her one last time. I mean, I know she told you not to pick up. Just like that, we transform. Why am I blinking? I need to stop blinking. So my mom passed away. My mother's passed. My mother passed away. See, y'all not about to make me cry. It's unbelievable, Benny. That's my mom when she was a baby. The passing day inspired by musical composition of, of his late mother, the composer, Ellie Stevens. Is that, is that really you? It, it's Chloe, your neighbor. Hi, Chloe. Oh my God, I can't believe this. It's been years. I Brian just lifted his mother's work out of his obscurity with the creation of this I'd piece. Love to walk She's now to be considered one of the greatest composers I mean, of her time. For that. My mom was a composer. I just can't believe that like my a musician artist. I was living next to a bona fide genius. Yeah, yeah. Oh, mom. Hold on, but I always heard her playing piano from next door, but I didn't know she wrote the actual music. Nah, she's a composer. Hey, so. Not to be forward, but uh, what are you doing after that? Bro, listen, hold on. Ain't this the hoe that really was talking crazy in class? Talking about like, oh, we're not supposed to know each other in class. But now that you see me as a multi-millionaire artist, now you want to know who I am? That is fake love right there. You need to get yourself away ASAP. No, Rocky. I can't believe everything that's happened to you. I want to hear all about it. And then we go back to this guy. Now would you look at that? <laughs> Where you at? I cannot believe my luck. Where are we at? Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. You finally hit the jackpot, Flapjack. 
with all the nobody nothings dying every day, you finally sink your hook into a... Whoa! Well, there you are. Hi. How well, you doing? Hello, sir. If I had realized, I would have cleaned up. I'm just used to fishing up a different class of soul. <laughs> I mean, sure, I've had scientists, a couple college athletes here or there, but... Whew, an internationally renowned painter? <laughs> the gatekeeper's gonna eat you up. Is she hey, now? speaking of that, why don't we give your story a test run? Maybe you can help me out with the word choice, since, you know, I'm still working on that. Uh -huh. See if I'm getting all the strokes right, the proper... Composition, if you catch my drift. <laughs> sure, kinda. Forget about it. All right, here we go. Here we go. Gatekeeper, before you stands the soul of a great man. Now, would you describe yourself as a, a happy kid or a lonely one? Which one is which? Definitely happy. I've always been a happy His kid. childhood was a happy one. Growing up in a loving home raised by loving parents in a quaint village by the sea. Right. And, uh, what did you say your mom was? A composer. A composer or an accountant? Composer. His mother was a composer who, with the need to support her family... Wait. Listen, I picked happy, but my this kid right here grew up lonely. He only had one friend. So I I picked the wrong choice. I thought it was gonna be my life that I was deciding. I see my fault. I messed up already. Took a job as an accountant. How would you describe her as a teacher? More encouraging or demanding? Um definitely more demanding. Kinda like your She was Therefore, more... As his piano teacher, she was over demanding, right. forcing him to practice day in and day out. That's fact. She was on my that He might one day achieve that greatness that she never could. And how about that neighbor girl? What was she to you? Was uh, she your best friend or your first love? Uh, here. Listen. First love? Uh, don't be bashful, man. You can tell me. First love? I wouldn't call that first love. Definitely best friend. But on the eve of she didn't really want to know who. She didn't want to be seen around. Me. That's not love. Ball, staying up all night with his best friend and blowing it the next day. Right. Now from that moment forward. His mother gave up on him. Yep. She knew he didn't have what it took to be a truly great musician. She did give up on me. But little did she know, she just picked the wrong medium, right? Ain't that right. See, when he was 12 years old, he got sick. And he had to stay inside for an entire year. Uh-huh. In that year, he rediscovered a talent he'd forgotten. Painting. Painting. Art. Sure, he loved finger painting as a child. Color and shape were the first languages he learned to speak. But for the first time, he saw it in a more serious light. He was accepted into an exclusive art school where he caught the eye of an esteemed professor who launched his work into the national spotlight. Now be quiet. Oh. With expectations on his career mounting, he stalled himself into bankruptcy, which turned out to be a blessing, for it wasn't until he returned home to the house he grew up in that he began work on what would ultimately be considered his masterpiece. I said shut up, you, you scum dolls, you mucky fowls. <laughs> <laughs> All right! I get it! I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. What happened? We got accepted? I as much anyway. 
I should probably tell you. Those things, they're not regular gulls. They're liar birds. Right. They're what becomes of souls who try to lie to the gatekeeper. And once they try that, they're never allowed near her city again. So what you trying to say? I get to feel them bad for not defending them right, so they just stay on with me. Living reminders of my oratory shortcomings. Oh, yeah, good thinking. I'll be back to get you once I'm done with this one. Okay, so before they head in. Hopefully you won't be seeing him again. Hopefully not. Hopefully I get accepted. What you looking at? <laughs> You're a flea bitten sap. You know that? Just look at him. Poor fool doesn't know what he's in for. What are you talking about, bro? Lights are closing in. What just happened? Now don't think that I haven't dealt with people like you. You're ashamed of something. Something so terrible, you're trying to blink right past it. Because if the gatekeeper knew, she'd have to dream up fresh new hells to punish someone as worthless as you. And I'm sure you're right. I'm sure you're the rottenest soul that I ever fished out of that black muck. And I should have thrown you back and sanitized my paw as soon as I laid eyes on you. But it's too late for that. Why so negative? We're in this together. Yes, we are. So why are you being negative? Keeper, she'll see right through your fake lies as if they were glass. So I'm going to ask you again to start from the very beginning. Okay, and so... And this time, I want the truth. Alright, you got it. So, I lied in the beginning when I said I was a happy kid. Wait, hold on. We got to play the whole thing again? Not this. The cat. Now play the C major chord I taught you. Remember? Yeah, kinda. Come on, keep blinking. I I, I haven't oh. found it yet. Doesn't I'm blinking. You know, my father once told me. I'm blinking. This. Stay here. Okay. What keep you your mean? eyes open. I need to see. Listen, bro. I'm trying not to close my eyes. Let's try this again. She's not, I'm trying not to close my eyes, man. Keep your eyes I am. open. I am. Big. One more time. I'm looking into the webcam. I'm getting it. Got it. Finally. Hello? Yes, of course. This is Elle, his daughter. <gasps> oh. Oh, what is it? She knew she hadn't yet lived up to her father's expectations. And now, she never could. Wait. Let's keep going. Hold on. Eternally indebted. What did you just say? This isn't a trip down memory lane. I need. Yes, I understand about the cat. Let's keep keep going. I swear to God, if you blink again, I'm not blinking. I gotta stay right there so my webcam picks it up that I'm not blinking. I blinked on accident. Oops. I understand that it's difficult. That's why I need to see it. Listen, I'm trying not to blink, man. I blinked. This is for your own good, man. Keep them open. Okay, damn. Don't yell at me, bitch. I 
Oh, I can't. Let's try this again, and don't blink this time. Okay, don't yell at me, bro. If you yell at me, then I'm gonna blink. You can't put me under pressure like that. I'm, I'm not. You can't do that to me. <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> ah, why is it so hard? Training my mind. Did I do it? I did it. Oh my god. The death of those cats must have taught you a terrifying lesson. That simply being alive wasn't enough. So then you went to work. To make yourself sensational. Listen to him, Richard. I like hanging out with you a lot. Which is weird because after what happened with my mom. After what happened with my mom, I blinked. I didn't, I didn't get to hear it. Hey, L, would you mind taking a quick walk with me down to my office? Come on, keep blinking. Okay. Sorry about that. This is it. I swear to God, if you blink again. Stay engaged. Can you please try to speak a little softer? I really don't want him to hear us talking about this. Sorry. Sorry, Daddy. I don't care how painful it is. I need to see it. Bro, listen. I don't work under pressure like that. I'm not somebody that you can just boss around, all right? If you bring negative energy, you're talking about don't do it. If you blink one more time, I'm about to beat your ass type energy. Don't do that to me. Because I, I, I don't work under pressure like that. You have to let my mind do its thing. Let me do me. I, I, I won't blink. Just don't put me under pressure. Because this voice actor right now is putting me in a bad mood. All right? I'm trying my best not to blink. But you're not working with me. So let me do me. He shouldn't be confined to his room. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking hate this guy. Time in his development. He shouldn't be confined to his room. Yeah, but listen, having him home for a little means I can spend more time with him. You know? We can focus him. Make sure he's staying engaged. Can you please try to speak a little softer? I really don't want him to hear us talking about this. Can I blink? I mean, what's the point? What do you mean? What's the point? What does that mean? What's the point of any of it? If he's never gonna get any better. Okay. Let's not say that. Okay? We know we don't mean it. I know I don't. I know. I mean, what if he heard... One of us saying something like that. I'd never forgive myself. I... It's okay. He's asleep. But it's okay. I see. You got sick. You howled at the moon. At the top of your lungs. So confused. You were sick for a long time, weren't you? Maybe. Sicker than healthy kids are supposed to get? Well, no matter how painful it gets, I need you to remember. Remember what? This isn't video game time. I want you to figure out something actually productive to do while you're home from school. Try Top writing writer. with it. Hi, Mom. Well, hello, Benny. Hi. <laughs> it was your grandfather's, but I used it in college to write lyrics. Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly. It was very artsy. Actually, I was just good at fooling your dad. Made him think I was some kind of genius. 
Okay. What do I write about? Why don't you write the story of your life so far? Hmm. And then what you're going to do once you get better. The Great Life of Benjamin, Benjamin Brinks. His childhood was a happy one. So we're writing up our story. Growing up in a loving home. Raised by loving parents. In a quaint village by the sea. Uh, his mother was a composer. Who, oh, we missed it. Man, this is wild. You really got into this, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Oh, here I am. But on the eve of his big audition, he completely dropped the ball, staying up all night with his best friend and blowing it the next day. <laughs> best friend? Okay, Benny. You are going to be in there for about 30 minutes, so try to get comfortable. We have cancer. Radiation therapy, right? No, that's an MRI scan, You're though. You're so annoyed with me, but I couldn't help but overhear Chloe reading loud from what I think was your story the other night. I know, I know. I promised myself I wouldn't eavesdrop, but I would really love to read it if you'd let me. Sure, Mom. Say. You know, I'm... I can't. Just go in there and tell him you loved it. I'm sorry, I just can't. Okay. She doesn't like my story because I was so okay. eager on her. Don't worry. I was so hostile on her. Go to bed. Because I called her so. Hey, B. Hey, just Dad. Just want you to know that. E. Mom loved your story. Whoa. She's just. You know, I think it was just very emotional for her to read. I, I, I thought it was great. Truth hurts, huh? I mean, look at this. His childhood was a happy one. Growing up in a loving home, raised by loving parents in a quaint village by the sea. <laughs> I'm certainly glad you feel that way. Hmm. Let's continue writing up the story. Was a loser. Benjamin Breen was a loser. He was the worst friend to ever live. See, this is not what we preach here on the channel. He didn't even try to fight the disease inside him. So I'm assuming we had something, a disease. We got, we got sick. He just laid down and died. Whoa, we died? So if he's ever in pain, all he needs to do is press that red button and the drug will administer itself. Thank you so much. You know, I know my wife would normally want to thank you herself. No, I understand. It hits mothers the hardest, this sort of thing. Thank you for understanding. It's been, uh, it's been a rough one. This is not what we preach on the channel, bro. I hit the red button. Got the drug in me. Drink it. Eat the eat. Hey, Eddie. Yeah, hey man, it's Richard. Listen, I know Elle's been missing in action, but I just want you to understand things have taken a really bad turn here. Yeah, no. That's not going to be possible. To be honest, your whole tone is pissing me off right now. Yes, I understand you have a business to run. It's a very <laughs> cliche thing to say to me in a time like this. That's his boss. Okay, 
Well, well, then I guess all I can say is screw you too. He quit. I said screw you too. Yeah, man, that's all I got. He quit his job. Just call my phone, Chloe. Hey, this isn't funny, you know. What, you're too scared to talk to me? Well, just so you know, I know you're faking. Because if you were really sick, like actually sick, you'd have to hold me already. I happen to actually know about this stuff. Hang up. Hang up. That's, that's bad energy. Everybody got to stay away from Chloe, right? Hey, Dad. I remember when you were just four years old. Mom was going through a pretty tough time. Right. Not as tough as now, but... Yeah, her music had been rejected, and she's having trouble adjusting to her quiet little life out here. And mm -hmm. I feared that yeah, I was losing her. Were you? But then you played this on the piano. It's your little hands reaching up for the keys. She just couldn't believe how gifted you were. And once she heard that, well, it was like you brought her right back to me. So, I was wondering if maybe you could do that trick again. Try closing your eyes. See if you can remember. Sure, I got you. Figure out how to play that. I gotta play it. Hey, mom. So now I'm sick. Keep playing, B. She's listening. Where'd you go? I played it. Taking my pills. Hey, cat. Jump on my bed real quick. I got a piece of this sandwich. You want it? What are you doing, Elle? She's gonna make you sick. Oh, it's okay. I'm just so happy she's here. We've got to show this cat some real love. She's been through more than we can even imagine. Drugs. She hasn't been over. Like, I'm so lost. she didn't even care to visit? No, I mean, I don't think he's told her. And you're just letting that be? I don't know her step. You know how Benny is. She lost her mother a year ago. You knew that, right? No, but what does that have to do with... Okay, do we have her dad's number? I don't know. Check the book. Okay, I'm calling now. Honey. Listen, I don't want Chloe here, bro. Oh my god, you're an idiot. What? You do realize this is really nothing special to me. I've seen this all before. What, you still think I'm I, blind? I, um... I was thinking about what you said in the story the other day. And how I reacted to it. I feel kind of bad. I shouldn't have done that. Yeah? But... Hey! Yeah? What are you looking at? Don't worry about it. Don't look up there. Look at me. I'm talking to you. I don't got time for you. I'm busy. <laughs> what you want, ho? I want to give what? you something. But I think I don't want to be in the room when you see what it is. So maybe if you close your eyes, I can give it to you and I'm going to leave. Say that. Close your eyes now, okay? Boom. You're my best friend. Love, Chloe. 
Why don't you want to be in the room though? Oh, we're slowly losing our senses. What is that? It's something new I'm working on. So you're writing again? Ah, it's just a melody that came to me. It feels good to play it. It's sad. Yeah, well, that would make sense. But do you like it? I mean, yeah. I love everything you do. What do you like about it? Ah, uh, not this old trap. Go on. I'm waiting. Well, it made me feel like... Like... Doodle buddy. Like if the unspeakable darkness I'm carrying can be so well expressed, maybe it's not so unspeakable. Nailed it, didn't I? Yeah. I mean, that was pretty good. Slowly losing our abilities. Going through the week. Eating me up. I gotta move my fat mouse so fast now. I can't breathe. I know. I know. It, it's okay, Benny. I understand. There's no need to show me anymore. You know, for a while now, I've wondered if I'm just not a good enough storyteller. If I just don't have grand enough words, can't tell grand enough stories. But grand words and stories, I think they may be overrated. Is that so? Uh, I know just what to tell her. Watch for her now. I've seen the gatekeeper take many forms depending on the soul I bring her. But once you see her, you'll know. Believe me. Why do I feel like this is going to be such a heartbreaking ending? Because it already is. It feels like it's already a heartbreaking ending. I should go get ready. Yep, go ahead. Don't worry. Wait. We got this. I think. I hope so, man. So we're about to meet the gatekeeper. What's going on? Where's it at? Where's the gatekeeper? Wish me luck. Hey, good luck, my boy. You got this. Gatekeeper, before you sits the soul of a child who died before he could grow old. Damn. That means she's ready to hear your story. You know, I never told you how much I loved your story. Uh-huh. It's really so imaginative. And the person you wrote about is such an interesting and intense guy. My only issue was, well, I didn't like him very much. So I wanted to read you something I wrote for you, which is about the Benny I've known for 11 years now. It's called The Great Life of Benjamin Brin. Sure. Benjamin Brin was born, born into an ordinary home to an ordinary mother and father in a small, small town by the sea. His mother was a composer, or at least that's what she dreamed she'd be. So when her own dreams didn't pan out, she began to dream for him. But then when he was just 11 years old, he got sick and was forced to stay inside for an entire year. And in that year, he began to worry that he hadn't lived enough. 
So he made up a story. Of the great life he thought he, he wanted to live. Which only made him forget the, gr the great life he already had. How he had filled a new home. home. With light and joy and promise. How he met a girl. His neighbor. Who fell all alone in the world. And made her feel okay again. Okay again. And how, even when he was sick. He still gave his parents hope. How he reminded them of exactly who they were. After they had almost forgotten. So when it's going to go, he was okay. okay. Because he'd already lived a great life. Full life. And there was no reason. Everything he needed to be. Just as he was. She accepts. Close your eyes now and keep them closed. <laughs> She's gonna let you in. Go on. You know what to do. Why they gotta make it so damn depressing? Why is he smiling like that? He must be somewhere that he likes. We made it to the gatekeeper. She let us in. You know, at first, this game was legit like a emo, a roller coaster emotion. Things were so unclear of how they were gonna end. The game is dedicated to my father, Robert Hellworth, the man who taught me how to play. Wow, I like how our character told such a deep, depressing side, right? And then the mother came through with her side of the story and she touched it up. She made it depressing too, but she made it a little more inspirational, right? It goes to show you that time itself is ungiven right it's not about how much time you have but it's about how you use that time you know you can have 11 years like this guy right but you can make the most of that 11 years right thank you for watching uh, i know it's a little short game it's around an hour or an hour or so i was gonna split this up into two videos but i was like nah let's just all in all one um hey i'm gonna wrap it up here thank you for watching thank you for enjoying if you enjoyed it um i ain't got nothing else to say bro shit they let me on a depressing note i ain't gonna hold you they left me on a depressing note uh take care of yourselves take care of yourselves all right use your time wisely Remember, it's not about how much time you have, it's about how you use it. Alright? Hey, I love you. I'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye. Sorry, my fault. <laughs> hey, listen. I'm trying to make I'm trying to cheer you up. So if I you know, I, I'm not trying to end this on a depressing note. So if I got, you know, make your day a little t tiny better before I leave you here. Whoa.